Okay, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone with my favorite highlighter, which is nylon. Um, so I'm going to put this right under my brow. And we want something that's a little bit on the shimmery side, like a satin finish, um, just because we want to highlight all the high points on our face just to give us that pretty glow, especially when the sun hits it. So next I want to define my crease a little bit by using um, a nice warm brown. We want to keep all the colors more on the warm side, so I'm using cork. And I'm going to take my favorite angled brush from Bare Essentials. This is the eye defining brush. And I'm just going to pop that right in my crease and just go back and forth just to create that shadow. And you just kind of build to how dark you want it. Okay, so now I'm going to take brown script. This is a nice warm brown. It's a little bit darker than cork and a little bit more warm. It has more red in it. Um, and I'm just going to take my 223 brush from MAC. And then I'm just going to put this in the crease just to warm it up a little bit more. And just go back and forth in your crease. Blend a little bit up. And you're just going to go back with a fluffy blush brush after just to blend out all the edges. Okay, to blend everything out, I'm going to go back with my Soft Focus Eyeshadow Brush. This is from Bare Essentials. And just go around the edges and just blend everything out. Okay, now it's time to give your eyelids that pretty glow. So I'm going to use this color. Um, it's from MAC. I couldn't tell you what color it is because the back rubbed off, so I don't know the name. I want to say it's Woodwinked, but I'm not sure. But I'm just going to pat it on my lower lid with a flat eyeshadow brush. And then I'm going to blend it up in my crease just a tiny bit. I'm going to get that angled brush I used earlier and put that color right on the tip of it and then I'm going to blend it in my crease just to bring the color up a tiny bit more. Okay now to define my crease a little bit I'm going to take this matte warm brown and then I'm going to take my small angled brush and just stick that right in my crease. And I'm just going to add a little bit. I don't want to do it too dark because I still want to keep everything pretty light. Do a little bit in the corners. Just keep going back and forth, just blending it. I'm going to blend up just a tiny bit. Okay, so I just put my liquid liner and then also my mascara on. So that should be almost a complete look of the eyes. They're pretty soft with a pretty glow, um, defined just a tiny bit. So now I'm going to zoom out. And then I'm going to show you how to get that bronzy glow on the rest of your face. Let me just clip my hair back. Okay, so now you want to prime your face with a face primer. And I want a pretty glow on my face, so I'm going to use the Primetime Brightening Primer. And that's new from Bare Essentials. So mine's almost out, so I'm just going to do it this way. And then you can see it has like that glow. It's like 
has that golden tint to it. So I'm just going to rub that everywhere. Okay, so now you have that glowy base, and now I want to conceal under my eyes with the dark, because I have those dark circles, and I'm using my NC20 Studio Finish Concealer with SPF 25, and I'm going to take, if I could find it, my little concealer brush. This is, I think, the 212. MAC brush. Um, the letters are kind of scratched off so I can't really tell. But I'm just going to place this right under my eye. And then my little friend. And then I'm going to take my favorite beauty blender and then just blend this out. Okay, so once we have that on, we want to move on to foundation, and I use the Medium Beige Original. I like the original because it gives you a glow, um, so it's great if you have dry skin, if you want your skin to look a little bit more hydrated. But we're going for that youthful golden glow look, so that is why I'm using the original. And then I'm just going to take my favorite brush. This is the Buff and Go brush. So I'm just going to apply this really fast. Okay, I'm just going to finish this up real fast and then we'll come back and finish it. So I just finished my, my foundation. I also concealed under my eye and added an eye brightener. Um, if you guys are wondering what I use, just go to my foundation face routine video or you can go to my blog if you're curious to see what I used. So now I'm going to use um, Warmth. This is from Bare Essentials. So this is my bronzer. So if we're going for that summer look, you definitely want to look a little bronzed and sun-kissed. So, I'm just going to put this on the outside of my face. I'm just kind of blending and buffing everything in. So you can see it adds a little bit of color. Do the same for the other side. Do a little bit over my forehead, on my chin, down the sides of my neck. That's really going to add that extra color for you. Okay, so for my blush I want something more on the coral side, something that's going to brighten the look up a little bit. Um, coral's definitely in when it comes to summertime. So I'm going to use my blush palette. And so I'm going to use this bright color. It's like an orangey coral. It's very bright. Um, just going to use my blush brush. Buff this on. Okay, 
So there is my coral blush. Um, I know you guys have been asking about this blush palette. Um, I got it when I went to makeup school and um, I actually contacted my school for you guys to see if you guys can actually order it. Um, but they weren't sure. I know it's only like wholesale only for you to purchase it. Um, something like that. So if I find more information out about the blush palette for you guys, I'll definitely let you know. Um, it is a cool palette. So um, if you can purchase it, I'll let you know ASAP. So next, I'm going to contour my cheekbones um, and I'm going to use my favorite contour powder, which is Faux Tan in matte. This is from Bare Essentials. And then I'm just going to take an angled brush. The angled brush is awesome if you're trying to really contour because it follows the shape and just, just the angle of it really helps you. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm just creating that shadow so it looks like I have more defined cheekbones. So an easy way to do it, you could do the fishy face when you go like that. <laughs> or you can, you know, move your cheek a certain way. You could see where it indents right there on your cheek. That's how I usually do it. I don't do the fishy face. I think it's silly, but it does work for some people. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little bit, a little bit of the um, faux tan and then go right up here just to create a shadow. And a little bit under my neck. Okay, so that's what you do for that if you want to contour um, anything on your face. And then, so let's finish up the eyes a little bit. I'm going to zoom in. So I think for this look I want to add a little bit of a bright turquoise right under here just to give a pop of color. Um, so let me pick that turquoise out and then I'll be right back. <laughs> 